I'm learning Thai cooking with grandmother of two, Mani okay. Suhu. Do you use monkeys to get coconuts in Thailand? Oh, yeah, they do. I don't know how to train him so well. They say, go get coconut, and they go get it. They shake, shake, they bring coconut all down. The monkeys should start a union. Monkey don't know how to talk. They're, they're smart, but they don't talk. No, but they could hold up a sign that says union. Oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> That's Mo Rocca, writer, journalist, comedian, and host of the Cooking Channel reality show, My Grandmother's Ravioli, where he gets cooking tips from kindly senior cooks. And he recently came back to his hometown of Washington to meet with the Post's food editor and get a cooking lesson from a local grandmother. And now we're lucky to be joined by him. Mo, how are you doing? Good to see you. I'm, I'm doing well. Gosh, modern technology. You have to love it. I'm just in my office here at CBS. Don't judge me for the lack of a decoration in the office. I got to work on that. Uh, you are not a trained chef, but you've moved into more of this, uh, you know, food and cooking programming, and I wonder why cooking? Uh, well, it was sort of an accident. Uh, I uh, ended up judging a bunch of Iron Chefs, um, which was fun to do for a while, but I wanted to, to do um, something that was more my own, uh, and, it, and it occurred to me that food really kind of, the stomach has kind of become the portal, the way in on everything, because if there's one thing that everyone hopefully um, does around the world is sit around a table uh, and eat. Uh, and, um, you know, unless you're like Daryl Hannah and Clan of the Cave Bear, and then I guess you're just sort of picking at bones, you know, around a fire. Um, but even that is sort of a family meal, isn't it? Uh, anyway, but... You know, food TV, the stomach is the way in, I think, to, to discuss anything you want to on, you know, history, uh, science, and, and in this case, um, biography and people's lives. Have you stumbled upon any actual cooking tips in the process that you can pass along? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I've moved beyond chopping. Um, you know, I'm actually quite a good chopper. I'm good at slicing now. You know, I, I learned how to make kreplach. I also learned how to say it. Uh, and uh, which is Jewish ravioli, I've learned. Like, ravi uh, kreplach is to the Old Testament as ravioli is to the New Testament. <laughs> you met uh, Helene Mankiewicz here in the D.C. area along with uh, our food editor. Uh, what was that experience, and what did you learn from her? Uh, I learned how to, um, to make a great chicken soup from her. I also learned that she, um, that when she goes to the Caribbean to vacation, uh, she likes to go topless. I, I didn't ask her for that. <laughs> she offered that up. She said, yep. There, How did you manage the, to work it in? I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's maybe there was a lot of leaning over the pot, and then I, I was looking into the pot, and then she <laughs> said, no, there's nothing more that me and my girls like doing than going down to the Caribbean. And I said, oh, how many daughters do you have? And she said, my girls. And, you know, we didn't include that in the article. The Post is a family paper. Well, thank you for sharing it with us. And thanks for uh, sharing some of these stories. It's interesting stuff. It's a really good show. The show, the episode tonight, this ger it's German cooking. And Cookie Oma, the German grandmother, and her husband, Herman, who is indeed an Elvis impersonator, huh. I can honestly say, among all the shows that I've done, I have never met characters like these. Okay, we'll look forward to it tonight. Mo, thanks a lot. Thank you.